How do you get the same performance from your previous models with a 70 horsepower engine? Yeah, so our, our previous models were 110 horsepower in the old VR range. So when we talk about performance, we got to identify what is performance in a telehandler. Mm -hmm. Number one, it has to be able to lift its rated load easily, comfortably, at idle. Mm -hmm. um, the hydraulic function times have got to be competitive with other machines in the market so that lifting loads to hide and retracting the boom to pick another load um, is, is what end users expect and the, the, that their productivity levels remain high. Uh, third thing is uh, driving and rough terrain performance. The machine has to negotiate soft muds, has to negotiate inclines, often with the full load on the forks. Uh, and the final thing is what speed the machine can do. So there obviously has to be some sacrifice. The sacrifice we chose was the speed that the machine can achieve. So what we did was, uh, first of all, with the hydraulic functions we have, none of the function times are an issue on, on the TH. Actually, we have faster function times than the new 74 horse TH than we had with the old 110 horse VR. Um, lifting loads at idle, again, not a problem. Uh, part of how we tackled that was, we didn't just go 74 horse, we went 74 horse with high torque engines. So, for example, we have a 74 horse engine in our boom lift over there, but it's only 180 pound foot of torque and it makes 74 horse right at 2200 RPM. Mm -hmm. This machine beside us here, the 843, is 220 pound foot of torque, develops at 74 horse at 1800 RPM. The 1056, 287 pound foot of torque, develops at 1400 RPM, the 74 horse. The torque is what lifts the loads, drives the pump. The torque is what pulls it up the incline. Mm -hmm. The torque is what digs it out of the mud. Mm -hmm. um, so we have actually have more attractive effort on our new 74 horse 1056 than our old 110 horse 1056. There is still a, a 110 horsepower option, am I right? Or yeah, so on our 1044 and 1056, we maintain the option for the user to select a 107 horsepower uh, engine configuration. So it's still the same Deutz TCD 3.6 litre engine, um, just with that diesel exhaust fluid after treatment and the SCR can as well. Um, so the sacrifice really isn't, there's an additional price for that, but the real sacrifice is the additional complexity that comes with that. So we've kept that option to allow the market to speak to us as to, to what they want in a 1056. Do they want the better acceleration that the 107 horsepower unit supplies, mm -hmm. because that is the only advantage. The fu hydraulic function times are the same, loads are the same, tractive efforts the same, etc. Or do they want the better return on investment and uh, decrease in uh, service diesel exhaust fluid, etc. that comes with the 74 horsepower unit? Okay. We didn't offer that option in the six and the eight. Ma mainly because, uh, honestly, in driving back to back uh, with our old 110 horse machine against the 74 horse 8, there was almost zero loss in, in drive performance, even in top gear with a full load on the forks.